in stock or buy directly off the floor. Stop waiting months on special orders. With free local delivery and free disposal of your old furniture, come see why Linderman's Furniture is North Georgia and Chattanooga's best kept secret. Right now, get a Kubota Z200 series mower with the new K-Ride Comfort System for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 36 months. Visit your local Kubota dealer, Kubota of Chattanooga, 2628 Rossville Boulevard in Chattanooga. No doubt about it, it has been very, very hot lately. And if you're like me, you're just kind of doing like that. When you look at your thermostat, you don't want to see just how low you're having to put it to stay cool in your house. Probably a great time to be considering an HVAC tune-up. And for us, that means a visit with Jake Self from Hiller Cool. I'd always do it. Pl cooling. Plumbing, heating, cooling, and electrical. <laughs> See, I've got cooling on my mind first. I thought I was going to get an A. Well, let's well, let's give up that first for today anyway. Good to see you this morning. Thank you. I'm fresh off vacation, I think. My mind is still kind of warped. So, um, am I right that the maintenance checks are really key to maintaining yes. that system? Yes. So, I like to say, do you want to be proactive or reactive? When you're being proactive, the cost of repairs is probably going to be less. If yeah. you're reactive, something big has probably happened and it's going to cost quite a bit of money to get it fixed. So proactive looks like what? A visit once or twice a year? Twice a year. We like to do it spring and fall. We don't, I mean, spring was wonderful this year. It lasted forever, but now the yeah. heat is on. So more than likely people are looking, like you said, at their thermostat, is it working properly? And like you said, we may be dialing it down and farther and farther to get comfortable, but is that the correct way to go about things? If you're going, if you're continuing to drop your thermostat down, there may be an issue where we're not getting all the humidity out of the air. So there may mm. actually be an underlying issue with your heating and air system that we do need to look at. So, I mean, as a personal preference, obviously, Absolutely. but when you talk about keeping on dialing it down, mm -hmm. is there kind of a magic number for you where you think that's just too low? That's personal preference, but we need to remember that it's a heating and air unit, not a refrigerator. Yeah. Some people really like to go as low as possible, but they're not made to do that. So we have two units upstairs and downstairs. Yep. Our downstairs one, we keep really on like 74. Okay. Um, the upstairs one, kind of the same thing, a little bit, little bit lower. Right. But then at night, we drop that one down. Does yep. that hurt it? No, ma'am. No, we like to hopefully get customers to at least keep it within a three degree split. Anything more than that, you're probably putting undue stress on your unit as well as your energy bills are going to start to creep up mm -hmm. because when you think of things like I want to cool this space down everybody wants to just reach up at the register and say hey do I have cold air or not but in fact that we have to actually cool the air but we have to cool the space around it your tables your chairs your furniture your walls mm -hmm. your ceiling has to bring down to that temperature in order for you to make that the right temperature. What was it that you said a minute ago about if you're having to keep on knocking it down that you're something about the humidity in the air? More than likely if you're not comfortable I mean again it's personal preference mm -hmm. but if you're not feeling comfort at somewhere between 74 and 70 degrees there may be an issue with the humidity in your house and we need that to look at that. there's too much humidity? Correct. So if that's the case wouldn't that lead to mold issues and concerns it very well like could. that? Yep. Yep, and a lot of times you will not see any of that until it has consumed your crawl space or your attic. Then it starts coming into your house. Okay, what I gave you, the example I gave you at my house, is that kind of normal because the heat rises? So yep. is it logical that it would be a little bit warmer upstairs? Yep, yep. Okay, okay. Yep. Uh, in my personal house, I like to keep them the same because I have a great big open staircase. Mm -hmm. So if I have it warmer upstairs, it's already going to be warmer. Right. And then any heat at all that's on that main floor is going to rise. And now the Same. upstairs has to do the work of both units almost. Right. Okay. What about, um, you mentioned the maintenance in the spring and then again in the fall. Mm -hmm. Clearly we've missed spring. Right. Can you still do a maintenance? Absolutely. Center? It's never too late. Okay. The only thing that we would hope is that you call in before there's an actual problem mm -hmm. because we have a customer base that is without cooling. So we need to get to them probably faster than our maintenance customers right off the bat because hopefully our maintenance customers are cooling and we have someone that is without air conditioning. When y'all, since so many people do have two units at their mm -hmm. houses, when y'all do um, the, the maintenance checks, do you ever kind of assess and say, look, you've got probably five years left on this one, but this one could be going out on you in a year or two? Absolutely. Yeah, industry standard right now is anywhere from 12 to 15 years. And if you've gotten 15 years out of a system, you've done great. They okay. just don't build things to last like they used to. If you are, okay, does that mean if you have an older one, should you hold on to it? 
personal um, preference yeah yeah i would love to say hold on to it but the problem is is they're phasing out the refrigerants they're phasing out old parts so when that old oh. one finally does die can we get the parts to repair it or are you looking at strict replacement right from the get-go you have the money you have so yep. no matter what you'd like to be able to purchase if you don't have it you can't do it i get right. that but if you are looking to replace a unit will y'all guide people through some things to consider yeah so all of our we call them comfort advisors or project managers come out and they will do a heat load on your house to make sure your current unit is sized correctly and that um, the system we come back with is matched to your house okay so they know so much obviously he's going to focus on the cooling part of it because it's hot 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 outside but you heard me stumble i can say it right this time it's hiller plumbing heating cooling and electrical yes ma'am the best thing to know is it's happyhiller.com because they want you to be happy when they leave your house their main office there on lee highway but just give them a call 481-9180 they'll be happy to keep the thermostat war in your house to a minimum thanks Thank you. Showing how you feel It's been a while Go ahead and smile